Pamela Cohn with your news in 90 for Monday, November 4th. A Florida woman is accused of an adoption scheme involving her own adopted son. Investigators say Tina C. posed as a worker for the Department of Children and Families who was trying to find adoptive homes for children. C. was a foster parent for a disabled two-year-old boy and claimed he was available for adoption. After finding a couple from Ohio who wanted the child, she sent him away. During that time, she filed paperwork to adopt the child and received federal benefits of nearly $4,000. After the couple became suspicious and contacted authorities, she turned herself in to face several charges, including illegally placing a child for adoption. McDonald's announced Sunday that its chief executive has separated from the company after violating policy. Head of the fast food giant Steve Easterbrook demonstrated poor judgment after having a relationship with an employee. McDonald's did not detail the employee's position in a letter to employees. Easterbrook admitted to the consensual relationship, calling his actions a mistake. Four White House officials will not show up for scheduled closed door depositions today. These no-shows are a part of the impeachment inquiry for Trump. They include National Security Council lawyers John Eisenberg and Michael Ellis, along with two other officials Robert Blair and Mick Mulvaney. House Democrats have previously said they will not pursue court battles with defiant witnesses and instead consider the stonewalling as grounds for a separate article of impeachment on obstruction of Congress. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.